Good evening. If it's morning to you, good morning to you, wherever you are. We're recording this at night. The name is Adi Bila, and this is my newest form of podcasting, my newest form of communicating with you. And I'm going to call it chess and wine. You know, I'm a chess lover. You know, I'm a wine drinker. You know, I'm a happy person. And I'm going to share my, uh, I don't know, my experiences with you in chess events, in uh, life events, in everything that I am passionate about. Let me just put it that way. You know I'm an author. I've written enough, so I don't want to write uh, my stuff anymore. I want to speak it. I want to say it. I want to, I don't know, let's get into this audiovisual thing and connect in many different ways. I've written for you. You've read so many of my writings. I had a blog, or I still have the blog, but I'm not going to be uh, very big on that anymore since, I don't know, we're trying to reach new crowds, a new market, new people, new groups, I'm, and just promote the good things only. Remember, I promote things that are constructive and productive, that will make a difference in the, uh, I don't know, the lives of those coming after us. I don't know, leave a, 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 a bit of a trail for others to follow, you know what I mean. Um, uh, we've had some experiences, we've had some lessons. And uh, obviously some successes at certain things, you know, about the success stories, which we're also going to be sharing. Uh, we're going to be discussing a whole lot of things in this video podcast, audio visual. So yes, um, we did, we tried, obviously we tried uh, the audio only, which we were doing at Port with Port Bin and yes, it had some followers in Lesotho, Botswana and all that, Switzerland, and obviously within the country we are aware. But um, we're now moving into, let's, I'm sure you're feeling the connection right now because you can see the face, put a name to, oh, put a face to the name, ADP, and <laughs> I don't know, man, and just uh, so that the next time when we see each other, you won't be surprised when people say, oh, this is the Eddie we were talking about, the one you read from, or whatever. But yeah, so this is Chess, Chess and Wine, and I'm calling it Chess and Wine because, I mean, I don't know. It's um, it'll give you that idea that it's going to get um, sometimes a bit um, I don't know sour, not and sometimes sweet. I don't know your experience of wine. How have you experienced your wine? I mean, I like dry wine, so maybe again it'll get dry sometimes, but not dry in a bad way, but just not too sweet. <laughs> All right, depending on your taste, because we're going to talk about everything. You know, I'm not, uh, I don't shy away from controversy. Uh, someone just told me yesterday that I'm, I'm, I'm a controversial figure in chess. I don't know, okay, I don't doubt that, but I also don't embrace it. But I also don't fear it, you see. So, because sometimes when you speak what needs to be spoken, you seem a bit controversial, but I'm not that. And, um, yeah, expose the truth where it needs to be. And obviously bring development where it's needed um, and shine the spotlight on the people that deserve to have the spotlight shine on. Like um, the Feeder Master, Vanilla Mango, our very own product, our very own boy here in the province, shining. And we hope that obviously his shine, his bright star will shine on others who come after him. And obviously the chess community in the province, uh, so many of them. I don't know. Emma, I know. Emma Lathaini. I know um, there's Nkomazi, uh, there's Laeligazi, there's the Sokawa Chess Club, there's Sekunda people. There is a whole lot going on around in the province in chess. And um, we just had a very exciting chess tournament yesterday in Nkomazi, Block C, Nguenyama Primary School, which was won by yours, um, oh, our very own, your very own. Banele Mango, Fide Master, who just came in there and won all five games straight. Obviously, I challenged a bit, or maybe some players felt like they were giving him a bit of a challenge. But ah, in his mind, he just knew it from uh, the opening that I've already won this <laughs> without effort. We know the levels, right? Like, yeah, he's at his own level right now. But obviously, Nkomas was so excited about, about having the Fide Master, Banele Mango, grace their uh, event. And uh, congratulations to the organizers who Mthongo um, Sibusiso and Skumbuzo uh, Vu. Big ups to you guys for hosting such a successful event. And big ups to everyone in Komazi, Komazi Chess Club, Komazi Chess um, uh, family 
who were part of making the event a success obviously we're showing up large numbers i mean it was it was the, the attendance was brilliant i mean i loved it i yeah i saw the open section obviously adults only having a record number of about what 24 players and such a small uh, event that was a big thing it just shows you see the culture of shares in that area is alive and obviously working together we're going to grow that we're going to grow towards that. we're going to work towards making it even bigger i mean attract more players make this uh space where you guys meet in gomaz at uh, uh power stylist uh saloon known to everybody so that people can just pop in there for a chance to learn the game or for a chance to i don't know get challenged uh just test their skill out and be a part of the family i mean the the bigger the family grows the bigger the game grows the bigger we grow i mean yeah i mean chess the more people understand that's how i always say this the more people understand or learn and understand the game of chess the more we the people who are promoting chess or we the chess players the people that know how to play chess become more valuable as well because we've got that knowledge that they now are starting to value as they grow in the game as they learn the game so it's our way of uh, staying relevant as well but again we're staying relevant by giving people what really works what really helps i've written a whole lot about what uh, the benefits of chess are i mean we need to have a mental life people need to live up here first before they live out here Otherwise, they'll mess around too much. So, yes, chess gives you that. It gives you that ability to reason, to think, to calculate, to, I don't know, to evaluate, to assess yourself, to look at yourself, to grow yourself, to learn the importance of um, um, uh, consideration, like uh, think before you move, plan of strategizing. So, it's a whole lot. But we're going to get into that because every time I talk, it just comes out that those benefits of chess have to be reiterated you have to be reminded of them i mean of them and we're gonna do that so this um uh video podcast thing is going to be available on uh social media let's try and put it on all social media platforms and working together again and promoting it and ensuring that people are going to be talking about chess so there's going to be chess there's going to be wine there's going to be life there's going to be um a whole lot of different other stories or maybe even sometimes just discuss some of my books, some of my writings, or some of other people's books, because obviously there's a whole lot of chess writings out there that we are aware of. My writings are not uh, strictly chess writings. I mean, I write about many different things, but I know people that write about other things as well, like shout out to Dr. Dr. Lyndon Bauer. I always bring his books as well to all of my chess events, his um, uh, reflections. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be um, making a, a shining a spotlight on all of those things. Yes, together we will grow. I don't even know how long these things will have to be, but sometimes they'll be just five minutes, sometimes they'll be 10, sometimes they'll be 20, depending on the amount of stuff that needs to be spoken about. Like right now, there's this sort of... But I'm not going to get into it yet. There's the Masters uh, Challenge that is happening in, in the Western Cape in January. And we were so looking forward to have to see Manila Mango take part in that. His chance to end uh, an I am norm. Because, I mean, he's our shining star as a province. I mean, as a chess community even, not just as a province of Pumalang. Because, I mean, he's broken so many records. He's, he's paved, I don't know, the way. he's made so much strides. He's, he's an icon to everybody that loves chess or that. So, I mean, him not getting a chance to participate in the Masters Challenge in the Western Cape is just something that's not sitting well with me. But first, I need to speak to some people in that organizing committee. And then afterwards, we can, uh, I don't know, make sense of the situation. Because the boy needs to be part of that. The boy needs his chances to shine. Because we know that whenever he's he shows up, he shows up. And he really, really <laughs> makes things happen. He, he really lives up to his uh, legend. So yeah, we're going to call him a legend yet. I don't know, but yeah, that's up to you. But I mean, he's, um, he's, every opportunity he's gotten, he's used it um, um, very well. He's, uh, uh, he's taken um, his shots <laughs> and uh, never quite messed up. And he realizes that such opportunities are very limited. And whenever he gets a shot, he makes the best of it. And that is why we... Uh, we need to make means to assist and make sure that he gets those chances because um yeah a whole lot of our young people are looking up to him as a role model 
We don't need to say it out loud anymore and make people and force people to see him as a role model. He is already a role model. I mean, he's achieved so much at such a young age. And yeah, this is uh, just one of the things that um, uh, we need to do for our positive social role models and show, make sure that they get those opportunities they deserve to shine. It's more shining for him. And yeah. Uh, but this is it for now because I don't want to make this very long because it wasn't on any it's uh, on a specific topic but we'll get to these things we'll talk about these things and I am introducing Chess and Wine to you as a DP welcome to it and thank you for being a part of it obviously you'll be part of um, promoting it too and uh, and maybe sometimes we can have some discussions live and have this thing happen um uh, at um an hour convenient to everyone but yeah yes this is it thank you very much we'll cut it here for now and um I'll find it as we go i don't know if we need a music uh what do you call these people a sound mixer to add some sound as we go out or some sound as we come in and every something i don't know we'll, we'll see but for now good evening good night shop. Yeah. <laughs>